Hi Storytime Lovers, I'm honored to read to you today a very special book by debut author Catherine Picardi called The Little Ouch. Catherine Picardi is a first grade teacher in Arlington, Massachusetts, and her first graders are very lucky as their teacher has just written a book to help them and all children to overcome their fear of the little ouch at the doctor's office while making them laugh at the same time. Catherine Picardi not only wrote this very useful story, but she also donated copies of The Little Ouch to many children's hospitals, including Boston Children's Hospital, Newton Wellesley, Dana Farber, and Franciscan Children's. She wanted child life specialists and children who are chronically ill to have a copy in their rooms for whenever they need some extra encouragement. So please, please, please support this author by getting your own copy and using the link in the description box below. And now, let me introduce you to Penelope and her little ouch. I'm not going! I was determined. Penelope, we talked about this. Your doctor's appointment is in 20 minutes and we can't be late. Dad said firmly. Today was the day I'd been dreading. I was scheduled for my annual flu shot, which is my least favorite thing on earth. I tend to put on quite the performance in the doctor's office when it is time for my shot. Whenever they come near me with a little ouch, I start to kick my legs and flail my arms and shake my head. Then out come the screams louder than a siren on a police car. You have until the count of three to come out of your room, ready to go. One, two, but Dad, the shot, it makes me scared and nervous and queasy and sick and sweaty and... Penelope, that's enough. We have no time for your performance today. On the right of the doctor's office, I thought of all the reasons why getting my flu shot was a terrible idea. What if I start to feel as awful as I always do? What if it hurts so bad that my arm falls off? What if the doctor misses my arm and pokes me in the eye instead? When we got to the doctor's office, the receptionist greeted us. I could tell even she looked worried. My body felt like spaghetti as I slumped down into the chair and slowly, slowly, slowly slid down toward the floor. Then I imagined I was in a giant bubble floating higher, higher, higher into the air. Ha! No one could come near me with a little ouch. Penelope, a nurse sang out, bursting my bubble. I'm Nurse Lauren. You may follow me right this way. I slithered off my chair and started my sloth-like, frightful walk toward Nurse Lauren, knowing I was getting closer and closer to the little ouch. She led my dad and me to an examination room where I hopped onto the table and nervously kicked my legs back and forth. Nurse Lauren started with a cheery, Okay, Penelope, are you ready for your... No! I was certainly not. You don't understand. It makes me scared and nervous and queasy and sick and sweaty and... Nurse Lauren flashed a bright smile, gave my hand a gentle squeeze and promised, I'll be right by your side. You have nothing to fear. Well, okay, but I need to lie down. I started to lay back, but suddenly panicked. No, I need to sit up. No, um, lie down. Well, maybe sit up. Actually, lie down. Wait, sit. Penelope, my dad interrupted, clearly not happy with me. Okay, I groaned. But I need to go to the bathroom first. As I wandered down the hallway, I noticed there was an empty baby stroller sitting in the waiting room. This gave me an idea. Penelope, Nurse Lauren called out. Where on earth did she go? I could hear my dad's voice getting louder. 
Nurse Lauren and my dad were searching high and low. Suddenly, two big blue eyes and a head of crazy brown curls peered under the canopy at me and let out a very loud ah! Nurse Lauren and Dad found me and escorted me back to my exam room. I almost escaped the little ouch. Nurse Lauren warned, You know, Penelope, you're not going to get one of those shiny, delicious lollipops if you keep... Okay, 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 I finally agreed. Why don't you tell me a funny story? Nurse Lauren asked. I started talking to Nurse Lauren all about how I had mozzarella sticks for dinner last night. I told her that I was so excited to devour them, I grabbed one and shoved it in my mouth so fast that I didn't have time to realize how scalding hot it was. I frantically spit it out of my mouth and onto the floor. Then my dog sprinted by and before I could stop him, he stuck out his tongue and scooped the mozzarella stick into his mouth in one gulp. I was about to tell Nurse Lauren how I had to chase my dog all over the house to get that mozzarella stick out of his mouth when she announced, Penelope, you're all set. See you next December. But aren't you going to give me my shot? I asked. I already gave it while we were chatting about that wild mozzarella stick chase. Nurse Lauren smiled at me. What? I couldn't believe it. Instead of getting scared and nervous and queasy and sick and sweaty, I was totally brave and calm and chill and fearless and relaxed. Miss Lauren pressed a sparkly pink bandage over the spot where the little ouch had been. I hopped off the table and skipped into the waiting room. I smiled from ear to ear, knowing that I had finally conquered my fear. Penelope, I heard Nurse Lauren call after me. Just one more thing. And he stuck out his tongue and scooped the mozzarella stick into his mouth in one gulp. The end. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. And don't forget to grab your copy for every time you, or maybe even your parents, need a little encouragement for your next visit at the doctor's office. Take care everyone and see you soon.